Hello and welcome to the Ptela Technology Demonstration video. Let's talk about regionalized security and network service insertion. Most often, delivering security services in the organization is a balancing act between maintaining reasonable costs, operational efficiencies, and adequate user performance and experience. Once proper controls are in place, organizations benefit from ubiquitous security policy, compliance conformance, and simplified auditing. Planning and deploying organizational security carries the decision of applying security controls in either distributed fashion, close to the users at the remote locations, or in a centralized fashion, close to the compute resources in the data center. Each approach has its own benefits. Security at the branch offers the strongest controls by the nature of being closest to the potential source of security concerns, such as malware, viruses, or security exploits which oftentimes come from the user population. It does, however, require multiple operational touch points and most times carries the burden of higher cost. Security at the data center centralizes security policy and consolidates operational touch points, which most time results in lower costs. It may, however, result in suboptimal user experience since user traffic now needs to cross data center network for security policy enforcement. Is there a balanced approach between the two? We believe so in the form of originalized security. Regional security promotes the model of placing security enforcement points such as firewalls, data leak protection devices, intrusion detection and prevention systems in regionalized data center or co-location facilities. This approach strikes the balance between cost, operational simplicity, and user experience. Another flavor of security is delivered through the cloud-based model. This model is particularly optimized for user experience accessing internet or public cloud applications, and it is going to be the topic of our upcoming videos. In this video, let's focus on the regionalized security. Let's first discuss the case of providing regionalized security for internally hosted applications. In this case, user traffic is forwarded from the branch location through the wide area network to the data center where applications are hosted. Regionalized security enforcement is provided by positioning network services such as firewalls or IDS IPS devices at the regional data center or co-location facilities. Traffic is steered towards those elements for inspection and security policy enforcement. The use of multiple network services in a certain sequence, meaning firewall for allowing or disallowing certain types of traffic, and IDS IPS for providing more in-depth, signature-based or behavioral security, is enabled by the service chaining functionality. Ultimately, this approach results in stopping malicious and non-compliant activity before it reaches the data center boundary. Second case is providing optimal secure access to cloud applications. In this case, user traffic is forwarded from the branch location through the wide area network to the data center where it exits through private, public, or encrypted public connections towards the applications hosted on the internet or in the public cloud. Regional security enforcement is provided by positioning network services at the regional data centers or co-location facilities. Traffic is steered towards the network services for inspection and security policy enforcement. Ultimately, this approach results in optimized user experience since the traffic does not need to pass through the main data center before being allowed to access cloud applications. It is simply put, better experience with uncompromised security. How can Viptel help? In our demonstration, we have a branch site and a data center with secure virtual fabric established between the two across multiple transports. Two flows exist between the users at the remote branch and the application in the data center. New site representing the regional data center or co-location facility is provisioned. Palo Alto Firewall is provisioned at the site. Viptela solution ubiquitously works with any physical or virtual layer 4 through layer 7 network service, catering to the traditional appliance model or the network function virtualization, the NFV. Palo Alto Firewall enforces security policy by allowing flow number one and disallowing flow number two. Viptela vSmart controller advertises firewall service throughout the secure virtual fabric and it is intelligently inserted into the data flow by Viptela's solution centralized policy. Firewall security policy is enforced and only flow number one is allowed to proceed to the data center, while flow number two is dropped by the firewall. Let's now see how it actually happens. This is vManage, a single pane of glass for managing and monitoring the entire Viptela solution. This is a geography view where we can see all of the sites that are part of our secure virtual fabric. We can see a branch location, a data center location, and a regional data center location. All of the sites are interconnected through a series of secure and encrypted tunnels on top of an MPLS and internet transports. In the regional data center site, we have a Palo Alto firewall. Let's have a look at the Palo Alto firewall administrative interface. Here we have defined two rules. 
Rule number one defines the source as a branch user, destination is a data center server, and the service is flow one. Flow one is defined as UDP port 5001. This rule allows this traffic. Rule number two defines the source as a branch user, destination is a data center server, and the service is flow two. Flow two is defined as UDP port 5002. This rule denies this traffic. As mentioned earlier, we have two flows between the branch and the data center. We're using a JPROF tool running on the data center server to visualize that. Let's have a look. On the left, you see flow number one, which is targeted at UDP port 5001, and on the right, you see flow number two, which is targeted at UDP port 5002. Let's now insert the firewall into the data path between the branch and the data center. Let's navigate back to vManage, Configuration, Policy. We have already created a policy ahead of time. Let's activate the policy. The policy is now being activated. Once the policy is activated, firewall is going to be inserted into the data path. Flow number one is going to be permitted by the firewall rule. Flow number two is going to be denied by the firewall rule. Let's take a look. As you can see on the left, flow number one, destined at UDP port 5001, is still going. Flow number two, which is destined to port UDP 5002, had stopped. This is because the Palo Alto firewall at the regional data center facility denies this traffic. This is exactly as expected. In summary, WebTel's Secure Extensible Network supports various forms of securing application access in the data center, private, or public clouds. To learn more, please visit us at webtela.com. See you in the next videos.